Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I edit using frequency separation technique. I love this tool, I use it every day. I hope you will too. Frequency separation decomposes image into tone and texture. Thus we can edit with better precision. I have an image where a model is wearing a tool over her face. So I will be uh, editing while preserving texture of the fabric. So let's go. So we open image in Photoshop. I'm going to load action. You can get yours at tatianalumir.com. I'm going to run it. No worries. The state of your editing will be saved. It takes some time to load and the action decomposes image into tone and texture through high pass filter. Couple more seconds. Okay, now double click on high pass. We need to change radius. I'm choosing three because I want to leave only the texture of the fabric and everything else will be in tone. We need to put three here too. We're going to work in a blank layer using brush tool only. Very easy. Low flow, very soft brush. I'm going to sample, lighter tone, and paint. This is it. Very, very easy. Few more brush strokes. And we're done. I'm just sampling and painting. Okay, let's see. Before and after. And as you can see, the texture is preserved. If I would be using any other tool, the texture would be either softened or changed, and I don't want that. And as you can see, with frequency separation, we could achieve editing without touching the texture of the fabric. So when you're done, flatten the image, and this is it. You can get your actions and a few more on my website. Subscribe. Thank you for watching.